Okay, so we are going to discuss chapter 5, uh, part B. So we are going to look at question number 1 first. So we are going to go from down the list. Okay, daripada bawah ke atas. So can uh, the first person, uh, one Muhammad Umar, please? Um, okay. Uh, Mede, can you hear me? Yes. Alright, so question one A. Describe the function of myelin sheath in a myelinated axon of a neuron. Uh, my answer is uh, myelin sheath speeds up the transmission of nerve impulse along the axon where action potential can leap from one end node of Rambia to the next by solitary conduction. Okay. Uh... Untuk point awak tu, you only get, walaupun panjang kan your explanation, you only get for one mark. Soalan tu satu markah. Eh, dua markah, sorry. So, the 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 point that you gave just now is to speed up the uh, the transmission of nerve impulse. Okay, along the axon uh, to saltatory conduction. Okay. So, saltatory conduction, it does not explain on the function of the myelin sheath okay so saltatory conduction is where you have the nodes of rambia that is the place where the action potential that uh, that will be generated so in this question it just need you to describe the function of myelin sheath one tadi betul lah to need uh, to speed up the transmission of impulse along the axon second okay second is that how to speed up the transmission of impulse it becomes uh, an electrical insulator. Okay, it acts as an electrical insulator. So the region, so you have uh, an axon here. So the region where the axon is wrapped with the myelin sheath that is made up of Schwann cell. So that is the place where there will be no voltage gated ion channel. So when there is no voltage gated ion channel, there will be no movement of ions. Okay, the movement of ions in and out of the axon will cause the membrane potential of the axon to change voltage. Can daripada resting negative seventy to negative fifty five to positive thirty, which is the peak of inertia potential. So, the place where it is wrapped with myelin sheath. It acts as an electrical insulator where there will be no movement of ions in that region. Faham? So, point yang, yang another point that you can put, act as electrical insulator. Point yang kedua adalah, it prevents the movement of sodium and potassium ion or prevent ion to move through it or uh, prevent the generation of electrical impulse. So, kat mana yang berlakunya electrical impulse? At the nodes, only at the nodes of Rainvia. Oh, tak payah nak terangkan pasal satatory nodes of Rainvia because the only thing that you need to explain is the function of myelin sheath. Okay, I repeat, act as electrical insulator. Why? Because it prevents the uh, movement of ion, sodium and potassium across the membrane. Third is to speed up the transmission of impulse. Okay, to um, uh, 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 along the axon. Kenapa uh, speed up uh, the transmission of impulse? Sebab antara myelin sheath tu akan ada gap which is which is nodes of Rainvia. Okay, so the here is where the action potential will be generated. Okay, yeah. so from one node to another node is the saltatory conduction. Okay, so unless the question ask on the function of nodes of Rainvia, then only you, you cakap pasal saltatory conduction. Faham eh? Okay. So, uh, next, uh, Sharifa Nuraina. <coughs> to identify what it represents and explain its importance. My answer is E is to show. To show potentials are necessary to regulate and propagate signals, uh, signaling both the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Okay, point yang pertama tadi apa? Uh, threshold. Yeah. Okay. So, what is threshold basically? What is, 
what do you understand by threshold? Threshold satu makah. Perkataan threshold tu dapat makah dah. So what is threshold? What is the function of threshold? Generate action. Generate action potential. Okay, so boleh lah. Okay, so generate action potential. So initially the the membrane the membrane is at the resting potential negative seventy. So as sodium ion enters, uh, the the membrane potential becomes less negative until it reaches the value of threshold. Bila dah lepas value threshold baru baru boleh decide okay the the axon can decide whether an action potential cannot be can can or cannot be generated if exceed threshold then an action potential can be generated so it triggers the second point it is that it triggers an action potential the second point the third point is that kenapa boleh jadinya action potential or what happened during threshold the membrane uh, becomes more positive ataupun less negative. Okay, the membrane becomes more positive or less negative or you mentioned pasal the membranes uh, be, uh, become depolarized. Okay, due to what? Next point, the sodium ion that, that enters into the axon due to the opening of more voltage-gated sodium channel. Okay, huh? so that is point... Um, uh, the the points that you can include in your answer threshold trigger action potential due to what the opening of voltage gated sodium channel sodium uh, sodium ion enters and causes the membrane to be depolarized or becomes more positive or less negative okay so thank you uh tadi siapa sharifah kan okay so next is siti nor uh, shafika Number three. In figure seven, it is resting membrane potential. Describe how the resting membrane potential is maintained. So my answer is resting membrane potential maintained uh, by two different types of ion channels, sodium potassium pump and sodium and potassium lead channels. So second point, uh, there, there is a higher concentration of the potassium ion inside the cell in comparison to the outside of the cell. So it creates um, potassium ion gradient. So the following of concentration gradient, the potassium ion will diffuse from the inside of cell to outside of the cell by leaky channels. And as potassium ion leaves the cell, it increases the number of anion trapped inside the cell, which accumulate the negative charges and the positive charges accumulate outside of the cell. Therefore, more positively charged ions are being removed from the cell than trapped inside of the cell, which accumulate the negative charge. Uh, sorry, sorry about you. Uh, then entering it, making the inside environment of the cell comparatively negative to the outside. Okay. Your answer, this one, is it, uh, did you answer according to your understanding or you get from, from another source? Uh, I search for this to understand. Okay. Okay, so basically, if you look at this, semua point awak ada. So make sure... Whatever you answer, you understand what you are answering. Okay. So, apa yang awak boleh concludekan daripada apa yang awak jawab tu tadi? You you just now, you read your your answer kan? Tapi apa yang the basic understanding that you need to know on the resting potential here? Kenapa? Uh, hmm. The separation of charges, which the inside is more negative, uh, creates an ingredient uh, gradient and then the so the potassium are allowed to leave and the sodium cannot enter the cell so um uh, uh. <laughs> okay, tengok, eh, sini. Jaya, eh. for this question you need you need to know that there are three factors that will maintain the resting potential of a neuron. Semua sel, 
Okay, semua sel termasuk sel neuron yang dalam keadaan rest. Okay, semua sel termasuk neuron dalam keadaan sel, uh, rest. Dalam sel tu, it is negatively charged. Luar, sifat sel eh. Sifat sel, uh, luar it is positively charged. So, for neuron, because neuron is a special cell, it uh, it can uh, generate impulse, action potential. So, the action, the axon, sorry, the axon has to change this condition, the uh, the uh, the voltage across the membrane, from at the uh, from uh, initially it is negative inside, positive outside. So in order to generate action potential, it has to change. Uh, inside has to become positive, outside becomes negative. Okay. Itu kalau generate impulse. Tapi soalan dia tanya pasal resting potential. So maintain lah still negative inside. Okay, outside, positive. Along the axon. In resting state. Okay. So, there are three factors that maintains the resting state. So, one is the presence of fixed anions. Okay. Fixed anions are large macromolecules inside cells such as uh, protein, protein, uh, protein molecule, uh, carbohydrate or nucleic acid that are big in size so it, it still maintains inside the axon and causes the inside of the axon the membrane to be negatively charged so that is one of the factor so one point okay so the tapi jangan tulis fix anion je ataupun dalam nota dia tulis ion concentration does not explain anything you have to know the explanation which is the presence of large macromolecule inside the axon causing um, it, that is neg negatively charged causing the inside of the membrane to be negatively charged. Second adalah the presence of, tadi ada, ada mention kan leaky ion channel kan. So leak, the presence of leak ion channel. Okay. Which is the leak, uh, the leak ion channel for, for potassium is more. Okay. More compared to the leak ion channel for sodium it is less. Okay, so less. Hari tu, masa dalam lecture, saya suruh awak ingatkan perbezaan concentration antara luar dan dalam axon dari segi concentration sodium and also potassium. So, if I were to draw, sorry, okay, this. Okay, so here is uh, is the membrane of an axon. Inside is the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm of an axon. Okay, outside is the extracellular extracellular fluid or the interstitial fluid okay so you have to know the concentration of potassium outside the concentration of sodium outside concentration of potassium inside and also sodium inside okay pergerakan ion ni adalah pergerakan ion sodium and potassium ni adalah selalunya even menggunakan voltage gated channel especially leak ion channel adalah through facilitated Diffusion, okay, facilitated diffusion. Ciri potassium is that this sentiasa move out, okay. Sodium, this sentiasa move in into the cell, okay. So because facilitated diffusion, potassium move out. Maksudnya dalam dalam sel ni potassium tinggi ke rendah? Dalam axon, axon lah ni ha, axon. Potassium Tinggi ke rendah? Kalau melibatkan facilitated diffusion. Saya nak letak arrow tinggi ke arrow uh, rendah ni? Dalam sel. Sifat potassium move out. Through facilitated diffusion. So therefore, potassium tinggi ke rendah? Tinggi. Ah, tinggi. Vice versa lah, extra cellular fluid, rendah. Faham eh? Kalau sodium, sifat dia sentiasa bergerak masuk ke dalam. So, maksudnya, sodium outside tinggi ke rendah? Tinggi. Tinggi. So, vice versa dalam, rendah. Faham? Then you can explain uh, in terms of the leak ion channel. Leak ion channel sebab sifat dia uh, sentiasa keluar. So, there will be more of the leak ion channel for potassium. Ni potassium punya leak ion channel. Let's say lah kita buat tiga. So, 
In this case lah kan Kita buat empat lah Supaya tak keliru dengan uh, Sodium potassium pump Okay kita buat empat Okay So So potassium keluar Potassium keluar Potassium keluar Potassium keluar Sebab dalam dah tinggi kan Concentration dia So potassium diffuse out Using the leak ion channel And for sodium There will be less Of the leak ion channel Okay so Sifat sodium masuk kan Tapi sebab dia less Less lah yang positive charge Masuk Banding yang keluar Faham tak? Okay so this will maintain Inside of the membrane To be negatively charged During resting potential More leak ion channel for potassium More potassium move out Less leak ion channel for sodium Less sodium move in Okay move in So another So dua-dua faktor tadi kan Faktor yang pertama Yang large anion So first Fix anion kan. So first factor. Second factor ada uh, leak ion channel. More numerous for potassium, less numerous for sodium. Another factor is the presence of the uh, sodium potassium pump. Okay. Sodium potassium pump. Okay. Sodium potassium pump. So sodium potassium pump it, it is active transport. Okay, active transport. So, vice versa lah pergerakan dia. Petisium pula masuk, sodium pula keluar. Tapi, for sodium petisium pump, it only pumps in, okay, pumps in to petisium berbanding dengan 3 sodium that moves out. Kan? So, maksudnya lagi banyak charge positif yang keluar berbanding charge positif yang masuk. So, this again maintains the negative charge inside of the cell. Okay. Ha, ini saya okay, ha. So um, two potassium in Berbanding dengan 3 sodium out So these are the three factors That will maintain The resting potential of an uh, Of an uh, of a neuron Okay faham eh So this maintain the negative charge Inside of the cell So Pak Marka So all that uh, explanation If you have in your answer So you got you got the full mark. Boleh? Boleh eh? Faham? Faham ni je. Okay. So next. Uh, person. Uh, Shirley. For C. Give one difference between excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters and name one example of each. Excitatory neurotransmitter results in depol depolarization of membrane potential, while inhibitory results in hyperpolarization of membrane potential. One example for excitatory neurotransmitter is epinephrine, and inhibitory is GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid. Okay, betul lah. Okay. So, you got uh, the two marks. One for the difference between excitatory and uh, inhibitory. And then you give the example. Pun dapat markah lah. Sebab soalan memang nak example. Okay. So, dalam nota awak, dia, it does not, it does not really, it just gives the list. Kan, the list of, of the neurotransmitter. But it does not give, ex okay, it, it does not classify which, which uh, neurotransmitter is the uh, excitatory neurotransmitter which is the inhibitory in your note tak ada tapi dalam uh, buku reference awak ada uh, Shirley awak uh, where, did, where did you refer to for the example uh, reference book Campbell Campbell lah so Campbell ada mention dia ada dia ada classify kan mana neuron mana neurotransmitter yang inhibit, uh, inhibitory mana yang excitatory so you can go and refer Okay, so, so there are neurotransmitters that are excitatory that causes uh, the depolarization of, of, of the membrane and causes uh, an action potential to be generated. Okay, but yang kalau inhibitory, it inhibit the uh, it inhibit uh, action potential from occurring so it causes hyperpolarization. Okay, so another point hmm um, that you can include in your answer kalau excitatory neuro, uh, neurotransmitter it causes it causes EPSP okay which is excitatory postsynaptic potential 
Kalau inhibitory, it causes IPSP, which is inhibitory postsynaptic potential. Okay, ah, so, so itulah dia. Ah, uh, so okay, so Shirley, thank you. So next question number two, Rashida. Question A one. Uh, how does the anterior pituitary gland differ from posterior pituitary gland? Anterior pituitary gland produces its own hormone in response to releasing hormone, while posterior pituitary gland secrete hormone produced by hypothalamus. Okay, so dia nak satu je perbezaan. Saya terkeluar ya, okay, tak apa. Sekejap, saya try masuk balik. Dia dah masuk balik, okay, sekejap. Okay, so... Uh, betul lah your, your answer tadi Rashida Okay so uh, the the difference between anterior and posterior pituitary gland Is that the anterior pituitary gland produce and secretes Okay its own hormone Such as for example uh, the hormone produced and secreted by the pituitary gland You have the follicular stimulating hormone, uh, luteinizing hormone growth hormone, uh, MSH, melatonin stimulating hormone, thyroid hormone. So, those um, thyroid stimulating hormone. Let's see. So, you jump. Examples of the hormones secreted by the gland, you have to know. Okay. Uh, thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay. Thyroid stimulating hormone, ACTH. Okay. So, those are the hormones produced and secreted by the anterior pituitary. So, why does the anterior pituitary capable of producing its own hormone? Because it is made up of um, cells. We call it as endothelial cells. Endothelial or epithelial? Epithelial cells, sorry. Epithelial cell. So, it produces and secrete hormone dia sendiri. Tapi kalau posterior, it secretes hormone produced uh, in the hypothalamus. Okay, hypothalamus. Dia hanya dia hanya see a store, okay? So, uh, the the posterior pituitary only stores and then secret the hormone produced by by the hypothalamus. So, kalau another difference that you can include in your answer for that question, um, another point that you may include is the um is is the composition of the uh of these two. Two glands. Kalau anterior, macam saya cakap tadi, it is made up of epithelial cells. Okay, it, de it develops from epithelial cells. Posterior, it is made up of uh, brain tissue or neural cells. Okay, yeah. so so that is the difference between these two glands. Okay, so number, so thank you Shirley. Shirley ke Rashida tadi? Rashida? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so next is uh, Nurul Izzatul Hidayah. Um, for question 2A, 2A2, this one example of a hormone secreted from each gland. So, for hormone from the anterior pituitary gland is FSH, FSH and hormone from the posterior pituitary gland is ADH. ADH. ADH tak hasil kat mana? Kat hypothalamus. So the the cell body of the neuron is in the hypothalamus, but the neuron axon and also axon terminal is in the posterior pituitary to secrete the ADH hormone. So you can also give other example lah for for anterior. I you just uh tadi saya dah dah bagi tahu kan. So ada FSH, LH, G, growth hormone, uh, um, apa melanocyte stimulating hormone, ACTH, okay, uh, and also prolact prolactin, okay. So, kalau uh, posterior, lagi satu hormon. Dia ada dua je posterior. Satu, ADH. Lagi satu adalah oxytocin. Okay. So, thank you. Izzatul Fatihah next. B. B. Figure 8 shows two different types of synapses. Identify A and B. My answer is A is chemical synapse. B is electrical synapse. Okay, betul. Okay, chemical synapse. Bawah adalah electrical. 
synapse okay yeah, so synapse so um next um pakiha give three difference um three difference between a and b the first a has no gap junction b has gap junction second a involves neurotransmitter to transmit impulse b does not involve neurotransmitters to transmit impulse number three a the transmission in a is slow while transmission in b is rapid okay so betul cuma point yang pertama tadi um kejaya Okay, so saya lagi prefer kan untuk point betul lah untuk punya apa punya point tu your, your first point you said that uh, A which is a chemical synapse it does not involve any gap junction uh, chem, uh, electrical involve gap junction cuba reduce kan perbezaan ada tak ada ni okay so maksudnya if if B involve gap junction so A it only involve um, synapse it it involve Synaptic cleft. Okay, so pergerakan ion tu kalau untuk uh, electrical synapse is through the gap junction. Tapi kalau pergerakan ion uh, untuk chemical synapse adalah through synaptic cleft. Ha, macam tu. Okay. So it involve synaptic cleft. No gap junction pun it is also accepted. Boleh lah. Okay, okay. Di, di, di terima. Okay, so yang lain tu betul lah. Okay, so kalau chemical synapse, it is less rapid uh, or slow impulse transmission, slow response. Kalau electrical, kena rapid. Okay, rapid. Rapid impulse transmission or fast response. Okay, so kalau uh, electrical synapse, it does not involve any any neurotransmitter. Sebab apa? Through the gap junction here, the ion can just pass through the the gap junction really quickly because the cytoplasm of pre and post is directly connected. Kalau an R. So that is another difference that you can include. Okay, the cytoplasm of pre and post is directly connected to allow the the ion to just flow from one neuron to another neuron. But for the chemical synapse, okay, there is no cytoplasmic connection between the two neurons between the presynaptic neuron and the post synaptic neuron tak ada tak ada no no synaptic or sorry no cytoplasmic connection tapi itu sebenarnya point yang sama dengan no gap junction okey ha so that is the point the same point so kalau another point that you can include saya, saya tak ingat aku dah aku mention tadi ke tak kalau chemical synapse okey for chemical synapse it involved um ligand gated channel okay ligand gated channel chemical synapse it involves ligand gated channel because that is the place where neurotransmitter will bind okay because tadi awak cakap chemical synapse it involves neurotransmitter kalau chemical uh, electrical synapse it does not involve neurotransmitter okay so so kalau kalau electrical synapse or mention no ligand gated channel involve pun betul okey ha no get, ligand gated channel involve yang ini ada ligand gated channel ini melibatkan neurotransmitter yang ini tak ada neurotransmitter boleh lah kan yang ini a uh, a uh, yang ini tak ada gap junction yang ini ada gap junction okey so yang ini obvious stretch kan dia dengan a uh, melibatkan synaptic cleft. Okay, so, so another point yang tadi, this is one is slow response, yang ni, this one is a rapid, okay, rapid transmission of impulse. Okay, uh, slow transmission of impulse for A. Okay, so those are the points that you can include in your answer. So, thank you. Uh, Fakiha, next is Yasmin, number three. Ini soalan applied sikit. Tranquilizer to calm panic attacks or anxiety disorder. Explain how the ABA works in calming a person from this condition. Um, when the ABA binds to a receptor, 
chlora ion channel opens. Um, and then chlora ion enter the cell and inhibit the transmission of neural impulse. Boleh lah, betul lah. Okay, you got the, dua, dia dua markah je. So, betul lah. So, kalau, if you look at the question here, GABA, okay, GABA may be an, may be, may be used as a, a neutral tranquilizer. Ini untuk macam contohnya orang yang ada anxiety. So, dia punya heart is pumping really fast. Okay, uh, so, really fast. So, in order to counter uh, the, the, the increase in heartbeat, so, so, the person is given a GABA. Okay, a GABA. So, this, the, fu the, the function of GABA is to reduce the heartbeat. So, to, to reduce the heartbeat, okay, ataupun the panic attack. So, the function of this GABA is that, for the first, for, for the first point that you can uh, explain GABA, it, it acts as inhibitory neurotransmitter. It, he, uh, it inhibit the, the transmission of impulse. Okay, dia bertindak sebagai inhibitory neurotransmitter. So, because it acts as a neurotransmitter, so it binds to, um, to ligand-gated channel. Okay, ligand-gated channel. So, baru yang point yang awak mention tadi tu. It opens, okay, it opens the chloride ion channel, for example. And causes chloride ion channel to enter. Chloride, sorry, chloride ion to enter. Chloride, it is negatively charged. So, as the chloride ion enters, it causes the membrane of the axon to be negatively charged. Okay, that leads to hyper polarization. Okay, hyper polarization. So, hyper polarization, it means that there will be no, okay, there will be no generation of an action potential, no transmission of impulse and this produces IPSP, inhibitory postsynaptic potential. No action potential will be generated. Okay, so ataupun it leads to no transmission of impulse giving a coming effects okay faham eh boleh so this question is actually an applied question where you have to understand uh, the concept first then you can apply the concept into the question okay so boleh eh <coughs> okay so next Shakira um, which division of the autonomic nervous system would most likely be activated if a student suddenly discovered that she had gone to the wrong examination venue and the exam would start in about five minutes? Explain your answer. My answer is, it is a sympathetic division. It prepares the body to act, increase heart rate and respiration. It also raises the blood pressure from having an emergency in one situation. Okay, betul. Sebenarnya soalan ni kan, uh, dia overlap dengan chapter 6. Okay, sebab sebab chapter chapter 5 ni kita tak tengok on the uh, on the terms sympathetic nervous uh, division ni. Okay, kita tak tengok yang yang part tu lagi. Nabil ni kenapa dia guna outside? Okay. Okay. So, sebenarnya dia overlap. Macam mana awak dapat uh, uh, perkataan sympathetic tu? Uh, tadi siapa? Ha, Shakira? Saya google, madam. Awak oh, google. The sympathetic, dia, dia ada dua uh, division ni. Kita ada satu sympathetic, satu parasympathetic. Sympathetic, it increases your heart, your heart rate, your metabolic rate. Okay, due to, uh, for example, the uh, from the release of the hormone uh, or neurotransmitter, uh, epinephrine, contohnya. Okay. Tapi kalau parasympathetic, it slows down your body function, more relaxed. Tapi orang ni dia dah gelabah, dia lambat uh, masuk exam kan. So, obviously, the the heartbeat of this person would, would be very fast. So, this is sympathetic nervous uh, division. Okay, sympathetic nervous system. So, one point. 
Second point um, adalah untuk it, it is the body response for fight and flight response or reaction. Okay, for the second point. For the third point, uh, baru cerita pasal baru dia boleh relatekan dengan chapter hormon ni. So, it stimulates the adrenal gland. Okay, it stimulates the adrenal gland. Adrenal gland ada dua region which is the cortex and also the uh, uh, renal medulla. So, dia akan trigger the renal medulla to secrete the hormone epinephrine. Okay, epinephrine or norepinephrine. So, that is another point. So, the effects of this hormone, epinephrine or norepinephrine, it causes the increase in heartbeat. Okay, heartbeat. Um, or increases metabolic rate or sebab dia nak pergi kat tempat yang sepatutnya kan. So, it increases muscle contraction. Sweating. Ha, so, dia dah takut dia lambat kan sweating. Increase in body temperature. Okay, in stressful situation. Faham? Okay. So, so soalan ni adalah soalan applied sebab dia final exam. So dia dia sebenarnya dia overlap chapter chapter 5 dengan chapter 6. Macam tu, okey. So that's why you need to understand the concept of every chapter because soalan applied ni boleh soalan macam ni boleh keluar. So you need to understand the basic concept kat situ of every chapter. Okey. Okey, so number 3. Um, okay, Sofia. Number, number 3A, name two hormones released by the anterior pituitary gland. My answer is thyroid, thyroid stimulating hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Dia hmm. sama macam soalan tadi je kan. So, ACTH, ACTH adreno, ataupun adrenocorticotropic hormone, LH luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, TSH thyroid stimulating hormone, growth hormone, prolactin. Okay, so all the hormones uh, by every glands you must remember. Okay, ha. Huh? So dia boleh tanya soalan example macam ni. Okay, so B, uh, the next question, uh, Munira. Hormones bind to a specific target organ. The plasma membrane of the target organ. Only at the plasma membrane. Good. Why do hormones only affect? Hmm. I understand. Kenapa awak cakap? Plasma membrane sebab dia refer kepada anterior pituitary gland which produces only protein hormone. Okay, so protein hormone or the receptor is only located at the plasma membrane. So why do hormone only affect specific organs? Because every cells, okay, every cells of the target organ will have receptor for that specific hormone. Itu, itu keyword dia, okay. Hormone needs to bind to receptor protein which is located at the plasma membrane of the target cell okay so the next question uh, farha the hormone and nervous systems have similarities and difference complete the table below for the similarity both hormone and nervous system function to maintain the homeostasis and for the difference hormone system has chemical signal while nervous system has electrical signal the speed response for hormone system is low while the speed response for nervous system is rapid and the duration effect for hormone system is long lasting while the duration effect of nervous system is very short and prompted. Okay, so betul lah. So you have all the all the difference for hormone and nervous system dif uh, apa, uh, differences, correct? Okay, so you can uh, listen back to the recording later. So betul, okay, so uh, effects is long lasting uh, untuk uh, hormone, nervous system, short and prompt, okay, kalau hormone slower response, kalau uh, nervous rapid response, okay, kalau uh, hormone, the effects is is basically another point that you can include 
for hormone the effect is e uh, is irreversible okay it, it is not reversible okay tapi kalau nervous system it can be reversed ah uh, macam itulah and then kalau nervous system the 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 effects is more diffuse okay diffuse nervous system it is more precise about from one neuron to another neuron diffuse uh, several cells can have receptor for this for this hormone kalau similarity tadi awak cakap dia contribute to homeostasis kan another point uh, is that these two hormone okay these two hormone will uh, sorry these two system Oh, betul lah. Okay, itu itu betul. Your point that is correct. Yang saya punya jawapan ni macam tak berapa nak tepat sangat. Okay, so it contributes to homeostasis. Okay, so thank you. Uh, tadi siapa? Farhan, next is Dania. Uh, D, suggest why the development of follicles in ovary is coordinated by hormones and not by the nervous system. Um, the development of follicles is a long process. Therefore, it is coordinated by hormone system, which the signal transmission is slow. And the effects is long, long, long lasting. Long lasting, kan? Okay, so, kalau for sebab apa kat sini, uh, the development of follicles. Mesti dia mengambil masa kan daripada satu uh, menstrual cycle to another menstrual cycle uh, that allows the follicle to grow. It takes it it takes several weeks kan. So it involves it involves the hormone kan. The follicle stimulating hormone to to cause the follicle to grow. So for first point, follicles develop over time. Okay, tadi kan it takes time. So, and then uh and also it is uh, affected by the hormone level in the blood okay so hormone uh, that that are present in the blood the level of the hormone that are present in the blood and then the effects of the follicle stimulating hormone towards the ovary is long lasting okay boleh eh so next is Aisha Sofia A question for A. Hormones are released by endocrine glands and transported by blood to target cells. State two classes of hormone. My answer is polypeptides and steroids. Okay, polypeptides, steroid, another one you have amines. Okay, yeah, so betul lah. So next, uh, Nabil. Name two hormones that are secreted by anterior pituitary. Thyroid hormone and luteinization hormone. Thyroid hormone? Are you sure thyroid hormone? Ada satu kata awak tertinggal. Dia bukan TH, dia TSH. Apa dia? Thyroid? Awak oh, cakap thyroid hormone kan tadi, Nabil? Huh. Thyroid, it is not thyroid hormone Thyroid hormone is by the thyroid This is one is by Anterior pituitary So it is thyroid Thyro stimulating, stimulating hormone ha. So make sure Tertinggal satu huruf tu Tak salah eh ha. So follicle stimulating hormone uh, LH, GH, TSH, uh, ACTH, MSH Kalau uh, waktu is short form Untuk exam Juga diterima Kalau tak ingat nama panjang Nama, nama short form dia Kalau untuk previous-previous uh, batch Diterima lah Tapi tak tahulah untuk batch awak Tiba-tiba dia nak streak Dia suruh bagi full name So kita ingat jugalah Okay so number The next person thank you Nabil Irfan please um, For question uh, Three women Describe the mechanism of steroid hormone My answer is Steroid hormone is a type of lipid soluble hormones that are being carried in the blood by attaching to a carrier protein. When this hormone arrives at the target cell, uh, it will dissociate from the carrier protein and pass through the plasma membrane with ease. And my third point, they will combine 
with receptor in nucleus forming hormone receptor complex. Okay, dah lima point. Semua ada. Your your point is uh, complete. Okay. Cuma yang uh, yang last kali apa? What is the effects of the formation of hormone receptor complex inside the cell? It enters into the nucleus if uh, if uh, there is uh, the receptor is initially in the cytoplasm. It enters into the nucleus, so it will bind to a gene and causes either the gene to be activated or uh, inhib uh, or repress. Okay, it causes um, the expression of a gene or repress the expression of the gene. Okay, uh, so it will Okay, uh, so. So that is the answer complete okay by by Ifan. So next B Hadif for question B state two factors that maintain the resting potential of a neuron. Okay. My answer is ionic concentration and the sodium potassium pumps. Okay. Untuk yang soalan macam ni tolong um Tolong elakkan daripada Bila zootris factor kan That maintains resting potential Saya tahu dalam nota awak Dia punya title dia Dia tulis ionic concentration Tapi ada explanation bawah dia kan So Ionic concentration is too general What is ionic concentration? So you must explain at, at least kan The presence of fixed anion Inside the axon ha, Macam tu at least Okay Uh, second point tadi is sodium potassium pump. Bolehlah diterima. Cuma please include a bit of explanation like what I've just explained earlier on sodium potassium pump. Okay. Another point that you can include is the explanation on leak ion channel. Like uh, what that uh, what I've just explained earlier. Okay. So, uh, boleh Ifan? Next. Thank you eh. So, next. Uh, kita try untuk habiskan soalan ni sikit. Okay. Then kita finish off. Next is Hadif. Hadif eh? Okay. So, uh, if uh, Farid. Uh, what does T represent? Hyperpolarization. Okay. Hyperpolarization. Describe the event that occurs at R. Oh senang soalan awak. Okay Farid. Next, Ishraf. Uh, describe the event that occur at R. R is depolarization. Uh, the threshold potential opens voltage gate, sodium channels and of course a large influx of sodium ions. Instead of the, inside of the cell becomes more electropositive. Electropositive. Uh, value yang dia akan reach at R The peak of uh, the, the the R tu Depolarization What is the value? The peak of an action potential So di depolarize kan Due to the influx of sodium So sodium masuk-masuk-masuk And causes the membrane to be depolarized Depolarized become more positive So what is the value at the peak of the action potential? Berapa value dia? Banyak kali saya mention. What is the value at the peak of an action potential? Uh, 61. 61. Mana datang 61 ni? Tengok graph. Dah bagi keluar habis-habis dah tu. Cepat. 30. Positif. 30 kan. So positive 30 millivolt. Kalau soalan suruh bagi value, the value of the voltage, make sure every time you put the sign, either negative ataupun positive. Negative memang tak negative lah, tapi walaupun positive, you must include the positive charge. Kalau you just answer 30 millivolt, your answer will be not will not be accepted. Okay, make sure you put the plus sign. Okay, so this is to indicate that inside of the membrane, becomes positively charged or depolarized. Okay. Uh. 
So bolehlah jawapan awak. Another uh, betul jawapan awak cuma another point that you can include in your answer is that you can mention also on what happened to the voltage gated channel for potassium. At at this point at R, all the voltage gated channel for potassium will close. Okay. So the vice versa dengan S lah, S repolarization. Okay, so where voltage gated channel for potassium will open, potassium move out, becomes more negative. So that's why uh, they drop. Okay, the graph drops. Last question, uh, Aprilin. Mm. Explain one factor that affects the speed of impulse transmission along an axon. My answer is the diameter of axon. Uh, when the diameter uh, is larger, it offer less resistance for current to flow. Current or ion lah kan? Current or ion to flow. Okay, so betul lah. So, that is one of the factor that affects speed of transmission, the diameter of the uh, axon. Another point, uh, another factor that you have to take note is the presence of the myelin sheath wrapping the axon. Okay, so myelin sheath that, uh, that causes uh, the formation of the nodes of Renvia and causes the, the action uh, potential to, to transmit faster because causes the, uh, the, the action potential to leap from one node to another node. It causes the saltatory conduction to occur. Faham eh? So that is another point that you can include as, as the other factor that speed up the transmission of impulse. Axon diameter, the larger diameter, the less resistant to ion flow and myelin sheath that can cause um, the presence of nodes of Renvia that leads to saltatory conduction. So that's the end of our discussion. Okay, so we stop at question number four. So do you have any question uh, that you